push one foot forward, they go flat against the bottom of the kayak, so that's really important when you come yep. into the beach. Um, always remember to do that. On the so they click in, yep. just kind of move it around until it clicks, yep. um, and it's locked. Yep. You don't need to do anything. A lot of people think that's locking it. That's unlocking it. Now they come out. So they call it the click and go system because it clicks in and you're ready to go. Okay. Now these are together, so they're sticking straight down. Mm -hmm. Push one foot forward, and now it's flat against the bottom of the kayak. Okay. Uh, and this little hook right here, that's keep important. That'll keep it up because yeah. they'll want to go back down. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that hook's important. Now to adjust for like uh, height, seven's the tallest. Uh, so you'll squeeze that. That pin comes out. You can move it closer, further away. And you want them both on the same number. Uh, unless one of your legs is longer. <laughs> so the, uh, I guess we'll go over the seats. Tupperware, nice. Yeah. <laughs> the seat here is locked in. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Go forward to take it out. You undo this clip. Now, it doesn't come out straight sure. up. It comes out when you add it, when it's when you lean it forward at an angle. So it, you put it on and off at that angle. Yep. Now it's kind of tricky finding that angle and getting it just right, especially when you're looking up here and you haven't done it much. Mm -hmm. So kind of the trick is you kind of come around this side so you can see. I look from the front of the seat and this little uh, part of the seat where it hangs over there, uh -huh. you set it just over that corner on both sides. So now the seat's not on, mm -hmm. it's just in the right spot to go on. Right. And then I put my hand on the butt of the seat here, like not up here, not off to the side, but kind of right down the middle and just lean it forward until it reaches that right angle. And now it's yeah. locked in. And then you'll do the, uh, You'll do the clip to make sure it's locked in. Yeah. Um, always remember that clip. It's super uncommon to tip this thing, uh, but if it, yeah, if you don't have it locked, you can lose the seat. Yeah. Uh, now the backrest of the seat is adjustable by angle. Mm -hmm. This tab here. Yeah. So if you pull it, lean forward, it kind of follows up, mm -hmm. and lean back, it goes back. Yeah. Wherever you let it in is where it stops. The front edge of the seat is adjusted here. So if you pull it. Uh, That angle on the front, I rarely adjust that. Yeah. Like there's, it's like there's too high and too low, and yeah. it's always kind of right in the middle is where it is anyways. Uh, so yeah, that's the, uh, the seat. Now the rudder up and down. You want to take this off before you like hop in the thing and kind of like start pedaling away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so the, uh, the rudder up and down are these handles, yeah. and they're labeled up, down, you clean it with whichever one you want. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, ready to drop it, you unclean it. Sometimes it goes down itself, but you're still gonna wanna pull it all the way down and lock it. Got it. That way it's locked down. Without that, it'll come up. If you're out there and like you didn't get it all the way down, it's sticking up a little bit. Uh -huh. It's really hard to turn. Right, right, right. So that's kind of something to remember. Yeah. Uh, another kind of tricky thing is like, you, have, you know, you have to remember to uncleat it before mm -hmm. you're gonna pull it up. Right. But the person in the back can do the same. Has too. the same controls. <laughs> right. So say the person you know in the back has pulled it down and locked it, and the person up front's like, uh -huh. "I'm uncleated," and you crank it on it. So you just ask, yeah. or you know, yeah. uh, or maybe one person's always kind of in control. But it can be nice, like uh, having either person have the option. Sure. Like that. So yeah, we'll just pull it up here, pull it all the way up, lock it up. Um, and then this bungee is just kind of more so for, I think it's like when you're traveling with it and stuff, it's a little stronger than having uh, that line yep. holding it up the whole time. Got it. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, I'll show you how like the sail and stuff. If you could just grab that end of it, I'll, I'll slide it right out.
perfect. Super light sail. Um, you know, you just be smart about it. Like, you kind of uh, get it up instead of just hanging on to it, you know, at the end and like, whoa, yeah. that's a lot of weight, you know. <laughs> get it closer to the middle. Um, and you just drop it in. Uh, and then just pull up on it, make sure it's clicked in all the way, mm -hmm. and uh, that's you're good to go. This uh, yellow line, the further control line, goes mm -hmm. here. Tie a little knot so it can't loosen itself all the way. Now basically, like this yellow line and the sail are always like opposites. Mm -hmm. So when the sail's unrolled, the yellow line's all rolled up. So then when the sail's rolled up, this is all out, mm -hmm. and I'll show you. So we've got the main sheet right here. Make sure there's no twists in it. That just looks there. I always forget to do this thing. <laughs> so you undo that. Now the main sheet, you'll notice goes uh, from here, up there, all the way to the back, and then up around here, mm -hmm. to the back again, up, and then comes out here. So oh. this is the same line. Okay. So if they're both uncleated, uh -huh. it doesn't actually, it just feeds through. It doesn't uh -huh. actually do anything. So one needs to be cleated, and then it'll tighten the sail. Okay. Uh, so. You want to open up the sail, you'll uncleat the further control line, pull on the main sheet. And you can see as the sail unrolled itself, it's rolling. the yellow one rolled up. Yep. So now to bring it back in, you'll uncleat the main sheet, pull on the yellow one. And this stuff is kind of like, if you're pulling on the yellow one and nothing's happening, pull on the black one. Yeah. And you know, like, and you <laughs> yeah. just kind of keep messing with it until it works. <laughs> okay. Now, what can happen sometimes is say, like, uh, say the person in the back opened it up and, you know, they're sailing, and then maybe this, and then, like, they sheeted in, and then maybe this person was like, oh, sheeted out, and then this person pulled some more or something. And that's locked in. Whatever, right. yeah. Yeah. Now, when you're ready to pull it back in, say this person's like, all right, we'll uncleat it and pull in the yellow one. You like bottom out, oh, and you right. just need to let out more. So then the person up front does, and uh, it's pretty common to have some of it left over, okay. uh, because the way it rolls up, uh -huh. it uh, it just goes by a number of spins. So when I just rolled it in, it rolled up really tight. Uh -huh. So it went around the same amount of times, but there's still some left over. Right. So you can you can kind of do it by hand or wrap it. Up. Oh, okay. This isn't gonna get much. Yeah, the, uh, aside from the sail and both people having controls of that, uh, like what also will happen sometimes while you're sailing, maybe one person will end up with way more of the main sheet than the other one. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of unclean them both and kind of even it out. Oh, I got it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now the, uh, the center board's right here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you, if you hop on the thing, go out the first time and start sailing, and you're like, we're just sliding sideways. You just remember to pull up on that. I can't do it now because it's on the dolly, and you just pull it back. Okay. And that drops the centerboard down. Okay. And uh, you'll start sailing faster and actually start going straighter. Okay. But yeah, as you're coming into the beach, you just kind of remember the things that are sticking out down below you, <laughs> which would be the two pedals, right. the uh, centerboard, and the, red. and the rudder. Now yeah. the uh, the centerboard, if you run aground, it'll come up. Automatically? Yeah. And the rudder, usually, if the bow touches, like you'll run ashore, it's going to be deep enough for that still. Uh -huh. So that's not as important either. I see but, some scratches on there. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> but the pedals are, you know, what happened a long time, you know, sometimes I'm like, you don't need to worry about it, and then they'll get out, and then we'll turn it around right. and stuff, whatever. Uh, but the pedals are the ones you really want right. to uh, Protect. pay mind to. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing people will do is they're coming in, like getting close to the launch ramp, and they're like, we gotta get this rudder up, and they'll pull it up, 
and then just kind of like start drifting sideways. Yeah. And like, <laughs> oh no, we ain't got no control. <laughs> exactly. So the rudder's the last one I do. Right, right. Um, when you're pedaling, this doesn't do anything. So as soon as you stop sailing, you can pull that up, have the sail rolled up and pedal into the beach. Mm, okay. Even have one person one foot forward with the bungee hook and then just one person pedals up. Yeah. You know, you just take it slow. That's what's sure. cool about this is, you know, you can do it. You can hop in the thing and, you know, paddle away or pedal out and then get out into the open and then open the sail and do all that stuff. Right. Um, instead of, you know, sometimes like people will hop on the thing and I'll be like, just pedal out, get out in the open and then open the sail. They open the sail right away and they're like, sail's open and like forgot to put the rudder down or like uh -huh. rudder's not all the way down and they're like, they're stressing out about all the boats are around them. So you don't need to like rush it like that. Right. You just take your time and right. um, you'll have no issues. And then after you've done it just a few times, it's yeah. just like, it's so Second easy. nature. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's see. I, I, oh yeah, swinging the arms in and out and taking them apart. Uh, swing out super easy like that. And they'll go all the way forward or back. Right. And this piece right here goes onto this knob. Yep. Kind of pushing on the end of it and it goes right over. Now what'll happen, especially if you're like sitting in it and trying to swing it in and out or something, you'll be you'll be looking here and you're like, it doesn't fit, and then all of a sudden it swings way past and oh, you're like, yeah. I can't get it. <laughs> so it's kind of easy just to make sure this is straight. Right. And then it should pretty much line up right around there. So that's what I look at. Um, and it clips on there. You'll notice this pin right here is a little like plastic one that looks like it's gonna break. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to break. Yeah. It's like a sheer pin. Uh, so if you're out there and you run into someone or something like that, this uh, is designed to break and then it'll it'll swing in before it breaks all the important stuff. Right. And there's extras right here. Oh, okay. And what's cool is the extras don't have another uh, like nut. It's got a little ring ding, so you okay. can do it while you're out there. Got um, it. And I've sailed these things everywhere. I think I told you all the stories and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've only broken one once. So it's pretty uncommon. Sure. But there's extras on both sides. Um, there's the owner's manual with a whole bunch of more extras. Okay. But it, it like it doesn't happen too often. Sure. Another shear pin would be the rudder pin right here. Yeah. If uh, you like run aground or something smashes into it, uh, this That'll pin work. breaks. And there's an extra one right here. Hanging yeah. in the hatch. Yeah. So that's stuff which is cool, like if you manage to break it, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't ruin the day. You can, yeah. you can just fix it and right. then come in for another one whenever uh, yeah. whenever you're around. Uh, cool. The paddles, I you pretty much almost never need them. Um, and I usually I'll have let my them, wife use it. Yeah, I usually have them folded up and put in the front, uh -huh. um, if even that. Because yeah. like with this one, a lot's got to happen wrong for you to actually need to use a paddle. Right. Um, you got two pedals and a sail. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it comes with them. They have these designed on the uh, on this and on the trampolines you got that they go like that. But I think they always get in the way. Like that's where you're kind of getting in and out. And then if you're hiking out, you're like sitting on the trampolines. So I don't keep them there because like that's really actually. So where do you put them? You don't put them. I fold them in half and put them, and put inside? them inside. Yeah. Ah. Because they'll fit up in that front hatch, oh, sure. just barely, but they do. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe have one in there all the time, or both of them yeah, in all yeah. the time. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. If you go out by yourself, you can plug up one of the holes right. with this. Uh, it comes with two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you got scupper plugs if you go out by yourself. Uh, you can plug up those holes. They seem to like water will shoot up sure. if you're by yourself more than uh, if you. Ins There's all these fittings if you're going to put electronics in it. Mm -hmm. um, these, when the paddle's folded in half, you can plug that in, and now it's just oh, a bar. Comes with those. Um, some more of the spare things I was talking about are in there. Uh, we just did the risers uh -huh. on these because it's you can get kind of a better grip yes. on the steering. Steering looks good, doesn't really need any adjustment, mm -hmm. um, which we can do if like sometimes maybe one of these will slip mm -hmm. and it'll turn left way more than it turns right or something yeah. like that. Uh, that's a pretty easy adjustment. Okay. And it's something that like you don't need to worry about. Okay. Just give us a call if you notice it and I'll kind of walk you through it, but it's pretty okay. um, 
yeah, I think that ought to do it. And then we'll just take the thing apart and I'll show you the, the technique of getting it on top of the car. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think you can move the car now. Just back it up right here. Okay. And then uh, we'll just load from the garage straight up on top of the car. Perfect. Sweet.